everybody and welcome to Low Country Pre-Owned Vehicles. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2014 Mini Cooper Paceman S. Something a little different. First time filming the Paceman Mini Cooper on Charleston Car videos. So anyways, we're going to have a great time today looking at this vehicle. It's a condition report. So if we see any dents, dings, or scratches, you know we'll point them out. And again, Low Country Pre-Owned Vehicles is located right here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, just about a mile and a half off of the Arthur Ravenel Bridges across from Low Country Volkswagen. So we're happy to have Low Country Volkswagen and Low Country Pre-Owned a new client of Charleston Car Videos. So thank you for joining with us, Low Country. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look with no further ado. Front end's looking great. Black is definitely the color. Headlights look great. I just washed it off. Got all that pollen off the vehicle, and it really has got a nice shine about it. Fog lights down there. You have the 1.6 liter under the hood. Front wheel drive. It is a coupe, basically. Two door. And a pretty big vehicle, you know? Definitely looks larger than some of the other Mini Coopers out there that we've seen over the last 8 to 10 years. So they're growing, aren't they? But the one thing I like about Mini Cooper is the look pretty much stays relevant all these years later. It really does. So anyways, alloy wheels look great. you got Continental tires on here. They're a 205 55 series Continental tire with a 17 inch alloy wheel. So nice big rim, good looking tire with plenty of tread. It's the S model. And we're going to look at everything today. We're going to take a look at the interior as well in just a moment. You're going to be really surprised when you hear what the mileage is on this car, considering it's a 2014. Let me go ahead and just let the rabbit right out of the bag, or let the hat, rabbit out of the hat. <laughs> 9,900 miles, right around there. So just under 10,000 miles. That is extremely low mileage for a 2014. So whoever owned this really babied it and didn't really drive it a whole lot unless they're going scooter pooting around Mount Pleasant here. Beautiful car though. You got a nice little height up off the ground. Looks like it sits off the ground about six and a half, seven inches. So it's not too low, not too high. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rear cargo space because that's always important. Dual exhaust. Just like that. Kind of like a Volkswagen, right? Just press the logo in. Well, and do that. And a lot of space back here, really. I mean, not bad. It's got enough to get your groceries in, two golf bags, some luggage, all that. You can even fold down the back seats for a 50-50 back seat split for even more space. It's got a little kind of shelf type thing going on here, as you can see right there. Then you got your cargo cover here, which is nice to be able to cover up those personal belongings in the back. Let's go ahead and drop that right on back down. And let's go ahead and take a look at the front seats. As you notice, which is interesting, the front up here is a little bit higher. Then it starts kind of raking down almost like a chop top a little bit. Look how small that back window is. It does have a wiper blade and you have your XM Sirius satellite radio antenna up top. There's the mileage, 99.77. It is a manual transmission, so it is a handshaker, as we say in the car business, a stick shift, which is fun to drive, and especially if you're buying this for one of your you know, son or daughter that's a little bit younger and just starting out driving, manual is the way to go. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Now, why do I say manual is the way to go? Because a lot of times when you're driving a manual, you are paying attention to the road a lot more, and you can't really pay attention as much to those cell phones while you're texting because you're having to shift gears. Make sense? Yeah. So you got leather, right? Good looking leather seats, kind of a light, almost a white. Really pretty with that black exterior. And the seats are in great shape, no rips, no tears. Here's your e-brake right there. There's your manual transmission. The key goes in right there. It has a start-stop engine button. Here is your speedometer. Your radio is right built into the speedometer. And then down here is your climate controls and your, you know, your window controls and some lighting things and all that. And good looking sporty pedals down there and very kind of grippy with that rubber on there. So that's going to help. Even got a spot to rest your leg at or your foot. It's a very clean car. It really is. The RPM gauge happens to be right in the middle. Headliner is also nice and clean. Again, a non-smoker vehicle, meaning people didn't smoke cigarettes in it. So it smells good and actually has a lot of room in the back. Look at all the space back here. I love how those seats are separated. You got your cup holders. And uh, I'm actually surprised by that. That's a lot of room in the back of this vehicle. It looks like a small car, but when you, when you get inside of it, you're like, man, 
This vehicle's kind of opened up inside it. It's not very claustrophobic at all. All right, everybody, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in price and more detailed information, head over to our website at lowcountrypreowned.com. We'd love to see you come there. Send us an email, send us a call. Let's go out and take a test drive with Brandon. We'd love to earn your business today. Thank you so much.